First, reply time and customer service. Hi, the customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to discuss first reply time, the bread and butter of any customer experience or customer service manager, customer experience manager, team leader of a customer service or customer support. You get it. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic. I am a customer experience enthusiast. I've been a Zenith consultant for the past decade. We're Zenith premier partners and uh, we love what we do. Now, before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel I'd be very grateful only 9% of you who are watching are actually subscribed so yeah hop on there's three things I want to talk to you about here first one is going to be what is first reply time first reply time in customer service is from the moment a request comes into your customer service system until a human responds to it this does not include an automation getting back to the customer giving them a general answer I know you'd be tempted to think or want that a first reply time be covered by an automation but no that's not how it works so why is first reply time so important have I mentioned it is it is. Well, we'd have to dig a little bit deeper into ourselves and notice that we are feeling beings, beings that feel. If we feel frustrated, we want to be seen, we want to be heard, and we need attention. So that's the core of our being as humans. And some of them have a higher tolerance, some of them have a lower tolerance. In the ever more crowded digital era, we have less and less patience and our attention span is going down the toilet this is because of so many distractions so much information so many devices that we have doesn't matter i'm getting off script here why am i mentioning this it's because this feeds into some of the metrics that we are going to talk about now point number two here is going to be some best practices for your first reply time now on this point i'm going to split it into two so on the one hand you have your live channels like chat like phone and then you have your asynchronous channels and here you have emails you have forms you have uh, even social media like Facebook Instagram WhatsApp even okay so let's take number one the live channels now live channels have a first reply time on phone of 30 seconds if you're achieving that then you're doing great on chat it's also 30 seconds to one minute and it's also best practice to tell the customer when they're in line and when somebody's going to actually have time for them now for the asynchronous channels you have to get back to your customers within two hours as a first reply time an agent has to own this request give a little bit of context to your customer to tell them that they are being handled and they're being hasty about it we interrupt this broadcast to bring you a word from our sponsor and you're never going to guess it's us duh <laughs> if you want to use a Zen Zendesk consultants 10,000 hours to make sure you're getting the most out of your Zendesk. If you want to have simplified processes, if you want to make sure your team is productive, you want to make sure that your customers are getting the best customer experience, show management that you made the right choice with Zendesk, automate as much as possible to free up time for you, then hop on over to roca.work slash offers and we'll ask you for your team size, we'll ask you for what kind of service you need, and then you leave your name and email and we'll give you a ballpark. Now based on this estimate we'll be able to see how our services best fit your needs and if we are a good fit let's start optimizing your Zendesk. We do this in three phases. First is we optimize Zendesk to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Second is we apply best practices in your niche and third we focus selling more of your service or product. Now again go to roca.work slash offers get a ballpark and let's get the conversation there and let's start optimizing. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay now the third Third point about first reply time that I want to make is going to be solutions. How can you keep this down? How can you improve your customer experience by having a very good first reply time? And in here, I have a few points. And number one is triaging or routing. So triaging, either it's done by a human manually, which is the most accurate. Either it's done by an AI, which also can become accurate if you train it well enough. You can also have some business rules that uh, do the triaging for you. And in combination with a human that actually gives it a second glance to make sure everything is working well whatever you do you have to have good triage another solution for keeping first reply time down is to have your business requirements defined what business are you offering support in what's your niche when are your customers reaching out where are they reaching out from what languages do they speak another solution is going to be to define the types of requests that come into the system if you've been doing business for a while or even starting today 
you're going to have an idea for what your customers are reaching out for. Either you have a service business or you're selling a product. People have a question about how to run your service, how to run your product, how to get it started. Where is my invoice? Why am I being charged? Can I change it? Can I unpack it? Can I send it back? Where is it? Who is it? Can you tell me more about you? <laughs> so these are some examples of types of requests that come into the system. Based on these types of requests, you can apply your triaging point that I made a bit earlier. And a conclusion on this one, why is this important to me? Well, this is interesting to you because if you have a good first reply time, then you offer good customer experience. The bread and butter and the basis of a good customer experience is to have a good first reply time. If your customers feel seen and they feel heard, then they will want to do business with you in the future. On the flip side, if you don't have a decent first reply time, customers will feel frustrated because you don't acknowledge them. You're not giving them clarity as to when you're going to get back to them and they're going to want to go to a competitor. So in today's age, when you have so much technology available then it would be a shame not to make use of it and offer your customers a meaningful experience technology is just a tool it's by no way the reason why you should offer good first reply time you have to have good business understanding of what you're doing and why you're doing it and then you'll be able to apply technology to it and offer meaningful experiences to your customers thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye